Welcome back to the channel. My name is Clay Wong and today we're going to be showcasing a very serious Honda build. We are out here at Elusive Racing and these guys are performance specialists for Hondas particularly. I've been dying to do a collaboration with these guys for quite some time but today we're going to showcase their epic Honda S2000 over here. We've got Brett from Elusive Racing and he's going to talk to us about this special car that they've built. How you going man? Hey man, it's finally um, pretty cool to do something with you guys and show us um Show everyone what we do here. Oh, honestly, I've been dying for this showcase, especially with a car like that. That thing is insane. So I think what everybody wants to know is, Brett, why did you guys choose to swap out the F-Series engine with this K-Swap motor? I know the F-Series engine is quite legendary, you know, revs yep. out to 9,000, you know, all that crazy stuff that goes along with it. So why? Oh, obviously there's a few variables in place, but obviously variable cam timing on K-Series, so we can actually adjust the, the intake cam to gain some more power and some mid-range torque. Obviously 2.4 litre makes life a little bit easier, a bit more torque out of that, but if you, uh, if you build a K-Series right, you can still rev it to 9,000. So the whole myth of K-Series not going that far is um, if, it, if it's all done properly, we've got a fair few cars here that can uh, prove that theory wrong. So essentially in layman's terms, that means it's cheaper, it's more reliable, it makes more power, more torque, and it's so modifiable. There's so much engine customizations out there for the K-Series platform, is that right? Yeah, 100%. So everything that you see on this car, we've done in-house, and it got the looks, got the power, and can go to the track. And the K-Series engine is now in a rear-wheel drive platform, which just showcases just how capable of a motor this is. You can run it all-wheel drive, yep. rear-wheel drive, and in front-wheel drive as well as all the other Civics out there with the K-Swaps. So let's have a closer look at this thing, Brett. Give us a rundown on the power figures, I guess what's been done to the motor, is it stock? And, oh man, just looking at it, it looks so clean in here. Honestly, I've never seen an S2K that's done up to this standard, especially out here in Melbourne. Yeah, look, so the main thing that we wanted to do with this car is make it as neat as possible, show everyone what we can do here in the workshop. So as you can see, um, full wiring tuck, ABS tuck, our own custom elusive racing radiators that we now sell as well. So the engine's fairly standard in this car, um, just to make it easy for us to take to the track, drive it down to the street, get lunch with it and drive it around on weekends. So S2000 inlet manifold, obviously Honda fans will realize that you can't put a K-Series manifold onto a K-Series in S2000 because the throttle body will be pointing to the firewall. So <laughs> a few little things like that. The car still runs obviously a factory S2000 gearbox, which is mated up with a adapter plate. And everything else that you see here, our braided clutch and brake lines, everything's all done in house on the shelf here. You can do it yourself, come in, buy the parts, and it's, it's essentially a kit ready to go. That's mad. It looks like it just belongs right there in the S2000 as well. This car still runs air conditioning. That's so awesome. um, we wanted to make sure that as much as it's crossing everything for the looks, the the power, trackability as well for the car, but you can also drive it around in summer. It's all the boxes for us and we all enjoy driving it. And um, yeah, it's how many times can you drive a K-Spot S2000 that looks this good as well and it goes as good. Well, today we're gonna change that and we're gonna drive it and see how this thing goes because I mean, it looks serious. I'm sure it's got the performance to match as well. It definitely does. I can't wait to give this thing a little squirt. Let's go for a drive, guys. Here we go guys, we're jumping in the S2000 now. This thing is so crazy. Push that engine start button and then the K-Series just wakes up. Okay, it's a little bit cramped in here because of the bride bucket seat, but it just makes it feel so race car. As you guys know, I love K-Series motors. They're just the absolute best that Honda had ever made in their cars and to be driving an S2000 with that swapped into this car in a rear wheel drive platform like this, honestly, I'm super excited to drive this thing. So let's go guys. <laughs> this car is a very serious street car. Everything has been swapped out to metal bushings and so it's very stiff and it vibrates a whole lot, but you know what? It's a car that has performance with it in mind. The build list for this specific S2000 is so long and extensive. I'll leave all the details about this car in the description box below. Straight away when you hop into this S2K, you just hear that synonymous howl of that K-Series engine and it sounds so iconic. 
and it's a car that's really synonymous to me because I've got a K-swapped Honda Civic EG and I love driving that car. So before we get started on this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more epic car content because you don't want to miss out on it. Oh my god, listen to the sound of this K-series engine. It's just beckoning me to go. From out of the gates, the stock standard Honda AP1 S2000 was good for making 177 kilowatts and 241 horsepower. That's a fair bit of power and it was renowned for making the most horsepower per litre of displacement. It was this F20C engine. However, that being completely swapped, this car makes a grand total of 171 kilowatts of power at just the rear wheels. And it's a fully built K-series engine. Here we go, guys. Oh my lord! <laughs> there is so much more torque in this car. You hit VTEC at about 5,000 RPM and it pulls you right through to redline. And on this specific build, it's got a redline of 8,600 RPM. So you still have the ability to rev it out. And being that it has 2.4 liters of displacement, there's just a bucket load of torque throughout this entire rev band. We're cruising at 4,000 RPM in fourth gear. Straight away there's power and it builds and builds. This feels so different to an F-Series S2K. It's seemingly endless in this car. The way it just revs so smoothly up onto VTEC and you feel still so at one with this car that it feels natural. It's everything that you know and love about the S2K. But dialed up to 11, and being that it is, it's just so much more engaging to drive. You've got the feedback, the raw visceral feel of the S2K still. And with all of these performance add-ons, it just enhances the car one step further. It's glorious, listen to that sound. And you don't have to be going at full throttle to enjoy this car. Because of the torque being so low down, it makes for a really great daily driver if you needed it to do so. It's got aircon, it's got all the creature comforts that you know and love. And it's in a package that just works. Obviously this car is a little bit more of a street track oriented setup. So you've got the big Voltex wing, you've got the circuit bar at the front. But if you wanted to, you could put this in a bog standard S2K and you have the added bonus of that K-series engine into this car, thereby making it more reliable, more affordable to run. Parts are so easily accessible. Maintenance is very cheap as well. You just have to buy a K-series engine from the wrecker. Any parts across the K-series platform, you can just get it and fit it into this car if something were to ever go wrong. And with the K-Series engine, there are so many different modification options. And this is just a naturally aspirated variant of this K-Series engine. My lord, that response is otherworldly. I just can't really fathom the fact that it's rear wheel drive right now. And best part about it is that you can have it in front wheel drive, in the Civic, like my EG, or you can have it with a rear wheel drive setup, like this S2K, and it bolts up perfectly with the standard S2000 gearbox, with just a few mounts. It just plugs up nice and well into this car that it feels almost factory standard. Compared to a stock standard S2K, this car is leaps and bounds better than that. And if you were to ask me, would you K-swap your Honda S2000? For me, it's an absolute no-brainer. I would definitely do it. This really debunks all the myths about whether or not you should stay with the F-Series engine. It's accessible, it's fun to drive. There's so much performance and the potential to do so much more is right there. I really enjoyed driving this S2K. It's a showcase of what can be achieved from this chassis and this rear wheel drive platform. It's a car that hasn't aged at all, really. The developments of this car are constantly pushed as every year goes by. 
It's just such an iconic vehicle in Honda's lineup. Honestly, I just can't get enough of it. I want to say a huge thank you to the guys over at Elusive Racing for allowing me to drive this beautiful car. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. In the comments below, tell me what you like about the K-Series engine in this S2K. I want to know what you guys reckon in the comments below. And as well as that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now.